So I'm on this week is the Scalpel 2, which uh, is one up from the Scalpel 3 that I had last week. I've ridden it uh, three times already. I'll give you the rundown of this model. I'm back at the top here by the dead tree, and I've got a Scalpel 2 here, which is from my previous review I did on the Scalpel 3 it's quite a it's got all the upgrades that are really needed um, so let's run you through this bike it's yeah it's got the aluminium bar stem aluminium post it still doesn't have the dropper post but you know what I must just live with it that's how it is and um, yeah I'm actually getting used to it maybe <laughs> my skill just needs no dropper post just to I need to learn how to use a bike without it you could get kind of lazy just dropping it down Okay, so drivetrain. Um, you've got XT, full XT componentry. The only thing that's not XT is the hologram crank system, which over there, um, which is actually top notch. I love that, that crank system. It's super stiff, light. Again, you can put a stages on there. Uh, XT at the back, XT cassette, XT brakes, beautiful rotors, the up spec rotor to the last model that I rode. You've got a little Cannondale app, um, the little sensor. So that you can actually log onto your phone with the app and um, you can log the, the case you, you've ridden on the bike. It gives you, um, you can use it for Strava as well. And that will notify you when you need a shock uh, service, uh, general drivetrain service. Um, it's quite nice just to, um, to keep, keep up to date where your bike is. Um, and yeah, so let's go to the suspension. You've got a lefty Ocker up front. That's the aluminum one again. And then you've got the Fox um, DPS float performance shock at the back. Uh, again, this is the third one I've ridden. You go to the factory settings, it's pretty, pretty bomb proof. Um, yeah, Pro Logo saddle where it's your saddle and nice short stem. Last time I did a review, I didn't actually tell you what length this is. This is a, looks like a 60. I'll verify that when I get home. Dual lockouts, I was climbing up, so I switch that off for the descent. Your rubber is Schwalbe, you've got a um, racing Rolf at the back and a racing Ray up front. Yeah, Shimano pedals, which are mine. And one thing I didn't know, um, comment on last time is that you can actually get a little multi-tool inside here. So this bike comes with this little fabric. So it's got your um, basic Allen key set, you've got a Torx. This can get you out of trouble. Um, I don't know if there's a chain breaker version of this. That that would be quite nice. And then just keep a link on the bike somewhere. So yeah, but very handy if you need an Allen key. And on the reverse side, you can put a bomb and there's a Dyna plug there. Here in South Africa, we get a product called Slug Plug, which is really nice. Um, I don't know if they, you can modify a slug plug to sit in there. I prefer the slug plug though because you can change the um, how many plugs you want with a dyna plug it's either small or um, large so yeah this is the general overview of the bike very nice bike on the website it doesn't show you the metallic finish on this bike so if you look very closely it glitters in the sun really it, <laughs> photos don't do this bike justice when you're actually standing next to it here it really looks nice and again we will take it down the trail now i'll run you through while i'm riding how it feels um, the climb up here was actually pretty nice um, you can feel there's less weight on the back, so the bike is much more responsive than the aluminium wheels on the previous model. But again, if you're new to mountain biking, you won't notice the difference. Um, get to know the bike first, especially if you buy the three. Get to know the bike, get to know mountain biking as well. You're running tubeless for the first time, get to plug tubes and all the rest. Basics. Then once you're ready, upgrade those wheels, upgrade that dropper post. So, yeah, this uh, amazing bike. Um, again, I'm running the suspension on the recommended factory settings. I'm not doing any ninja moves or MacGyver moves there. Um, the saddle tilted down slightly. The power saddle just works better on the hip um, placement. And yeah, uh, 34 blade up front. And with that big blade at the back, you're not going to run out of gears. And if you do, you should train harder. So yeah, um, I might eat my words after a three-day tour though. But yeah, let's... Uh, I had this, the rear shock on way too soft yesterday. I felt like I was bobbing. Actually, it was about 30 below the recommended pressure. 
so today yeah, it's a little bit more harsh but you know the marshmallow is also not responsive so bike handles a bit better than the three because of the wider tire profile but yeah it's really rocky sandy and loose after all the rain we've had so between the scalpel three versus the scalpel two both got the same frame composites same type of carbon different colors full shimano xt versus a slightly down uh, xt group set put it in inverted commas in that the rotors are different on the three um, that's my main takeaway from testing both bikes is that without a doubt the hologram wheels change the platform there's no no two <laughs> there's no doubt that if you buy a three you're getting used to it you're gonna have to get wheels eventually but in saying that not everyone has the extra 10k to go into their pockets for that but in general the suspension has been reworked and it's really stable under speed um, it's closer to a habit but without losing the scalpel climbing ability